Hi, this is Jared from Shunome, and today we're going to wrap up our series on design options in ARCHICAD 27. This is the fourth video I've done on design options. I highly suggest if you haven't, start with the first three, at least the first one to get the basics and then jump around as you want, or watch them all a lot of times. Uh, also, like all the videos and leave comments and subscribe. I appreciate love it when people do that. And everything I'm talking about here, it's worth reminding you that it's all connected to my work environment and my template, both of which are available for free if you want them to be on uh, shunome.com. So go ahead and download that. Today, we're going to look at modules and design options. There's a lot of cool things you can do with modules. Let's, let's look at them. So in this file, I've set up three basic floor plans, kind of dumb, but they're there, right? Each on its own scheme. Let's go ahead and let's make a fourth one. I will duplicate that. We'll call that option four. Let's turn it on. Let's duplicate this, call that option four and set that. So now option three, right? Four and four, that all aligns. Okay. So three and four are the same right now. Let's take this stuff and move it over four feet and we'll drag this over four feet. Nope. That's a group, so let's suspend group, which I did with keyboard shortcut, move that over four feet, and then let's add something else in here. Shouldn't waste time. Let's add more, let's add more toilets, right? I just love toilets, all these toilets. Okay, it's too many toilets. Let's do that. Um, just to show off things, let's go here. Let's go to, so first we distributed them and now let's align them. Okay, so now we got just a, a nice army of toilets there. They're all on option four. Good. And then let's put the door over here and maybe add a window. I'm using keyboard shortcuts. All this is in my template. That's not what this video is about. Okay, so we got a window. Let's save it. So now let's go up to file and we're going to do save as. And we're going to save as a module file. We'll do this on the desktop. And let's go to options. Here, we want to choose our save options. I'm going to do current story because I don't care about other stories in this project. I'm going to uncheck that because I don't need it. And then here's what's important. If we're doing modules, and we want to use design options as part of the magic of modules. We need to include all elements, hidden and visible, not just visible elements. If we do all elements, we're going to get all our design options. If we do visible elements only, it'll just be the visible design option. So we're doing all elements. I'm going to hit OK. Module test is fine. We're going to hit save. It's warning us that it's going to do what we want. Okay, great. Now I'm going to go to this file and I'm going to hopefully remember how to place a module. We're going to go place a hot link. I'm going to select module, new module from file. I'm going to pick the one we just created, select. Uh, we'll just do single story because that's fine. Choose story one. We're going to select that. We will put it on the external content on plan layer. Master ID, I'm not going to worry about that. And now here under design options, place elements from module, main model only, selected options, or use an option combination. I'm going to use option combination and I'm going to choose option one. I'm going to hit place and there's our option one. And uh, there's two, there's a couple things cool about this. So here's a module. We can right click, we can go to hot link settings, and we can say, actually, I meant option two. So there's option two. Now I can go, you know what? Let's do a couple of copies of this and let's go to hot link settings. And this is option one. And this is hot link settings. This is option three. Um, and just to prove the point we got here, select settings. Let's do this option four. Okay. So now we have one module and it's all those things. So we don't have to manage a million modules. We just have to manage the one we did. Now let's go back to this module test and Let's get more creative for, so first this doesn't need a shower. Let's move the door and this needs more toilets because we always need more toilets. And then let's go here. I'm double clicking to make sure that it's the active module. This one doesn't have enough toilets. So let's give this more toilets. This one just needs another tub. Okay. So made some changes. Uh, we'll do this as the double shower scheme. So let's go file, save as, save as module file. We'll overwrite our module, hit save. Replace, continue, great. Go back to this file. Now we right click and go update module and all related hot links. Bam, now all those are updated. So that's 
cool. And if we realize, oh, you know what? This one should be option one, we're, we're good to go, okay? Now we can take it another step further. Let's go and create a new option set and let's call this, I'm just gonna do it, bonus toilets, okay? And we're gonna create a new thing. This is just more toilets. And then this one here is even more. Okay, so we're gonna go to even more toilets and we're gonna take this and we're gonna copy it. And maybe we'll just, I don't know, we'll, we'll put them here, okay? So that's more toilets. So now we can, oh, sorry. These guys should be relinked to that, more toilets. So because I copied this and it was part of the design option, it stayed in that design option. Whereas if I were to eyedropper it and then place it, it would be in the more toilets because new elements go to the active design option, but dragging a copy keeps it in the existing design option. Okay, so we got more toilets, right? So we got that, great. We won't worry about the overlap. And now we want even more toilets. So let's take these. I'm gonna, some command D for drag, and then I'm gonna do option for drag a copy. I'm gonna put them there. So now I've got overlapping toilets. I'm gonna select my other design option. I'm gonna hit relink. So now if I go, let's, let's move them over so it's a little known. So now we got more toilets and even more toilets. So even more toilets, let's give these out here. So now we have design options and we can say more toilets, even more toilets, right? So we could go in here and say option one actually has more toilets. Option two has even more toilets. Option three doesn't have any. Option four has more toilets, okay? So now when we go over here and change the design option, we're getting, you know, more toilets, even more toilets, etc. So let's go ahead and do save as. Save as a module test, replace, and continue, go here. We're gonna select one of these, update. I can add things for a second, super fast. So now we have these schemes, right? Now let's take this one here, make a copy, hot link settings. Instead of option two, let's go selected options and say, you know what? It's the option two, but no, no bonus toilets. So now you have that. We can go here and say, okay, actually this one is going to be option four with more toilets. Let's see if that's different. Hit okay. And so now, oh, I guess that's the same selection set, even more toilets. Okay. So now we have option four with more toilet or even more toilets with regular toilets. We've got option one with those and those, right? I'm being a little stupid using all the toilets, but I love using toilets when describing ARCHICAD because I find it hilarious. But you could see that maybe these things are on another option set that is bathroom layout. And we do new and we do bath one, bath two. And so now you could take those and say, okay, that's actually bath one. And so we turn that on. And sometimes we want it here and say, this is bath. This is bath two, right? So now you can look at bath one or bath two here. You can do even more toilets, no toilets. You can go, right, all, all this crazy. This is, this is getting kind of insane, but you can see the more complex you make your module file options, the more variety you can have in the end product, right? So maybe it's, we have one that's like doors, right? And so you then have door options for option one, option two, option three. Doors wouldn't work as well because things have to be hosted. We can't relink this door into more toilets. You can only host, like, if we wanted this door, if we wanted five different doors in a wall, let's, let's actually just do it here real quick. If we wanted to have that, like these doors all be different options, this wall would have to be in the main model. And once it's in the main model, then this can be part of bath one, and this can be part of more toilets, and this can be part of know, even more toilets. And then depending on what we turn on, those doors turn on or off. But we can't have multiple doors in this wall because this wall lives in option two. I hope that makes sense. Okay, there's a lot of other cool things you can do with modules in ARCHICAD and design options. You could imagine drawing like a slab like this and then doing a bunch of columns 
Um, this is really grotesque, right? But you could have these columns, right? And then you could have another set of columns like this that are circles. And those circles could be you know, smaller. And if those circles are on one design option and these are on another, then, oh, I did them on the same. Okay, so we got that. So if we look at this right here, oh, I used cavity, right? It's like the worst one to do. Like, let's do concrete, right? Okay, and let's bring this up here. Okay, so this is, this is really goofy, but imagine if you will, for a second, this is a table, right? You could have design options that are module and you switch between option one and option two. And the difference between the options are you have a table placed and in option one, the table legs are these and in option two, the table legs are these, right? So we can start using hot linked modules and design options to create different options for a furniture piece. You could do different layouts for, instead of like building an object and like using a module and design options as weird objects, you could do a furniture layout. So maybe there's like a couch here and a table here or like chairs and a dining room, right? These could be design options, option A, option B, like circle table, round table, and you put them as a module, you drop them in and you're just switching between them. On a custom residential house, it might not make much sense, but if you have, you know, an apartment building or something, hopefully you can envision what might be possible with this. So with that, I'm going to stop talking. Look at all these toilets. I hope that these four videos were interesting and thought provoking and have convinced you to try design options in ARCHICAD 27 and beyond and to use them in creative ways. And hopefully there's some weird things that you're doing with them that I haven't mentioned. If there are, please tell me about that so I can try out cool things with design options that I haven't thought of and maybe record another video. Okay, thank you very much. Everyone, you all have a great night. Thank you.